Fast, you want us to talk about the red bar thing? Let's just let's do that before you have a goddamn aneurysm. So Ugh. we come on the air here and we talk about the fact that we are big red bar fans. And most of the time that people who stumble upon our videos hear us say that, say shit like, oh, red bar is so lame. Oh, you're lame for what liking red bar. Red bar, like he brings out these feelings in people. Yes, he does. That I don't understand. Because you know what? Y you want to know what Red Bar is. And, and I know that a lot of Red Bar fans, like us, don't like to hear this or don't like to admit it. His fans like to think that he's this big, different guy who's on a different plane of the rest of the internet. You know what Red Bar is? Tell him. He's a guy who talks shit just like the rest of us. Every single one of us. Do but you... he has, like, the nerve to put it on air. No, he's like every other show. Oh, you think so? He has guys, and he talks shit about them. Okay. That's it. You know what? He has his own server. He can say the N-word. I think he has his own spice to everything. That's it. Uh, Ryan says, six months ago, you love Red Bar. I do love Red Bar. I think Red Bar is great. Like Sam Hyde, I think he's a national treasure. However, I also uh, find it, I find his fans remarkably weird. Like the really hardcore ones. I find them to be very strange people. The reason I bring this up is because a clip we did a clip where we stated how big of Red Bar fans we are and how we have these little homages to Red Bar inside of our show ended up on the Bring Back group. And these Red Bar Spurgs just start going, oh, he's, he's ripping off this and he's, he said fools. Now, first of all, I just want to let you know, and I feel really bad having to tell Red Bar fans this because they apparently did not know. The word fool and the concept of a fool has been around since medieval times. This is nothing any of us own. Us calling people fools was a tip of the cap and homage to In fact, we made a funny little list here in studio. We go, oh, look, Red Bar has his list of fools. We're going to put together our own little list of fools here. Somebody having a list of fools is not a Red Bar thing. No, but if you mention it and his like listeners catch wind, it's illegal. You know who had a list of fools <laughs> that they would follow and make fun of? Who's that, Aaron? Howard Stern. Howard Stern. You know who else had it? Oh. Opie and Anthony. Yep. You know who else has it? Revenge of the Sis. Nightwave Radio. Everybody. Red Bar Radio. They've all got You know who else had a list of fools? Henry the fucking eighth had a list Henry of fools. The They've all had a list of fools. <laughs> so I don't know if this is going to make Red Bar fans cry or if Mike David would even see this, but fool, kind of gay if you're trying to make that yours. But we tried to make it a little tribute. We tried to, you know, do a little tip of the cap thing. Apparently that's gay too. So you know what? Yep. We're just going to call them marks now. It's the same thing. It's guys we like watching and making fun of, which again, it's what everybody on the internet does. Well, it's so stupid too because we always say how much we like that show and we subscribe to Scars Club. We've told them right. before. Yeah. Like Chevrolet JB says, shit's on now. The Red Bar feud will be fun. There's no feud. We're I don't want huge Red Bar fans. Right. I'm a member of the Scars Club. But this whole idea of, oh, this guy's in trouble. Or what, what did uh, Mike David say when he this saw the clip? This is too much. This is too much. Mike, this guy's too much. <laughs> Mike, calm down on the drama. Take the fucking paint off your nails and calm down. Take a nap. Take a pain pill and fucking relax. Okay? You're doing what I'm doing, what they're doing, what he's doing. Talking shit about people who are funny. Brendan Schaub, DSP, Quartering, Ethan Ralph. Uh, who else we got? Uh, Nick Fuentes, Kenny Bolin. There's just certain people we find hilarious and we shit on. And if us, if us talking about being Red Bar fans and us saying, oh, there's this funny thing Red Bar does. He says this, mm -hmm. blah, blah. Oh, this reminds me of Red Bar. We won't mention it. We're sorry. We apologize. That's so lame. For, for, for saying that we ever will keep it a secret. We'll, shh, we'll keep everything nice and quiet so nobody knows you're out there. Like he says, he doesn't want any more fans. Yeah, but, I guess, but we've been fans. Don't worry, we won't. Uh, I don't want to upset the guy. I mean, he just came back. Yeah, I mean, and how stupid. Like, when we found this out this weekend, Aaron had me message him, too. Like, make sure you message him and tell him this is strictly complimentary. Right. We like you. This is complimentary. We like you. You know what it is? I don't think Mike David has ever said he's not this. He is a wild, rabid dog who has no feelings towards anyone and to just wants to hammer everything. He is a hammer in search of nails, an infinite amount of nails. He's looking for things to lash at. That's it. So we're sorry. We didn't mean it. We apologize. Are the BBG people okay? I noticed they've been very quiet while I've been doing this. So I, they must have kind of went, hmm, nobody's really kind of addressed us like this before. I'm not really sure how to handle this. You'd think they'd be used to it, though, from him. Whenever he's got a problem with yeah. one of them, he gives them, like, lashing. Yeah, you would think it. you'd be used to being yelled at by him. Shit, he hates his own fans. Yes, he does. Uh, Ryan says, I blame Corey. Well, that's the other thing. Mike David digs into this show. You know what he's going to find out? He's going to find Corey out one, one of the co-hosts of our show is an old Red Bar target and friend of Josh Denny. Are they Corey still Adam. friends? 
Apparently, yeah, yeah, they're still buddies. Yeah. And uh, so you got Corey and you got uh, you got Corey Adam. You got uh, what's his name? Um, I already forgot his name. Denny? Josh Denny. Yeah. And then Red Bar's big feud with Josh Denny. So uh, Josh Denny is actually Red Bar's most hated person that he has. He said that numerous times recently. Is his what? In, in his last couple episodes, he said that he's his most hated fool. Is oh, Josh Denny. The most hated? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, let's go to, uh, I go fast. He says, this show is fun. Red bar is a turd with bad sound drops. I disagree. What? I think red bar is wonderful, but if you like this show better, who the fuck am I to argue? Well, yeah, that's true. Like this show better. That's fine. Uh, Eddie D says, Mike David is a master troll. Look up his song about Sam's kids. Oh, the one oh. last week was fucking hilarious. The Sam <laughs> yeah, Tripoli stuff is great. It's so good. That was hilarious, dude. They float. Oh. <laughs> Would you shut up? Stop saying nice things about Mike David. It's too much. You had me message the guy. I mean, I'm trying to be nice. It's too much. Mike David says it's too much. Don't like him. Don't say the word fools. Can I be Jules's friend? You know, I'm going to say something. And I don't want anybody taking this the wrong way. I don't want you being friends with Jules. Can I tell you why? She's no, a I nice so. she's a nice girl. She's um she's a great person. She's probably got a saint's patience. With Mike David. Oh, no shit. But <laughs> you're hotter and funnier than she is, and I don't want her getting jealous and dragging you down. I don't think she would do that. I don't want you being friends. If you guys are friends, she's gonna you know how you girls are. I feel like I feel she's like gonna have, you know what she's gonna do? Nope. She's gonna have you cutting your hair really no. dikey and short. Stop. She's gonna have you uh, not shaving your Ooh, armpits anymore. Long jumpsuits. She's gonna give you <laughs> terrible advice so she can ugly you up. And vote for Kanye. She's gonna She's going to gay you up and it's no, all going to be bad. I feel a very kindred spirit with her because she's got to have like levels and levels of patience for him. And I do the same for you. And I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm your second guy. She's his second this guy. This isn't saying much. I like her. But I believe I'm a much more socially acceptable human being than Mike David. Absolutely. But there still needs to be patience when you're in my seat. Uh, as Gurmy says, will you sing us the DuckTales song that Red Bar made? Yeah. And here I am promoting the DuckTales song to people talking right. about how funny of a, a, a DuckTales song that Red Bar did. But no, I'm too much. Well, fuck me. You know what I am? I'm a passive aggressive girlfriend right now. I tried to say nice things. You know what? Mike David will get this because I'm being very much a Jewish mother right now. Yeah, okay. I'm sorry that I was so <laughs> complimentary. I just thought you would like to hear nice things about yourself. I guess I don't need to talk anymore. I, That's fine, Michael. I can, I'll can. i back off and you just go and do your show the way you want to. I actually laughed harder at the song Sam's Kids than the DuckTales one. <laughs> Sam's Kids is a very funny so song. so good. Oh, be friends with me, April. I think you're perfect exactly the way you are. That's Thank you, Lemmy. Lemmy is always solid for me. I love her. All right, so there's the whole deal with Red Bar. We can move on from the show now. I think we're good. Uh, 